Hello, so today what I want to do is show you how to hook up one of these accelerometers. They're a lot of fun to play with. Um, they're pretty cheap these days and they're really not that hard to hook up. We'll have to download a couple of libraries and some simple wiring, but we should be able to get this going in just a matter of a few minutes. So uh, the only wire is really going to be interested in, we only need five actually to get this to go. We're going to need this uh, voltage and ground, of course, the first two pins here. We're going to need pins, the SCL and the SDA, the I2C communication lines. So these first four are for sure. And last, we're going to need this uh, INT uh, line right here, which we're going to be taking advantage of. So just those five wires, and we should be good to go. And I have a hunk of code. I honestly where I got it. I believe it was handed to me. And I just back in. I'm 90% sure, almost positive, it actually has its origins with this guy right here. And so I have license information back into this code. And I'll publish this code someplace so you can download it. I added a little section here and changed a couple of things. Um, this is, if you're going to be hooking it up to a TNC 3.2, this is the wiring configuration you want to follow. And let me kind of put this over here to the side a little bit. Because what we'll do is we're going to wire this guy up right now. And then we're going to go find those libraries that we need to be able to get this to go. So I've got some wires here, five wires. And uh, like I said, uh, we're just going to wire it up following these guidelines right here. So I'm going to get the ground in first. I like, there's no power on this thing, so it should be safe no matter what. But ground is the second one in, GND. And it can go anywhere on any ground bus on the on this Patent Robotics motherboard. So I'm just going to plug it in, I don't know, there. Okay. So it's one of the black ones on the outer row, any of these pins. I'll do the power next. I ran it, which is the first pin, by the way. I ran this guy at 3.3 volts. And, of course, you can set this jumper to 3.3, in which case every red pin in the middle would be 3.3. But... There's also one dedicated, always 3.3 volt supply line, which is that second pin from the top. It's a little red labeled pin. Okay, That pin is always 3.3 volts. So now I can just leave this at 5 volts if I want to for whatever devices I might want to hook up in addition. Now we've got our two communications, our two I2C lines. First one is SCL. So I'll plug that one in. And SCL goes to pin A5. So I have to tilt this to kind of see which one that is. So I've put it in the yellow labeled A5 pin. The next one is going to be our A. And that one goes into A4. So a4. And last but not least, we're going to have the INT. And it goes into pin 2 according to this. So 0, 1, 2. Okay. So we're all wired up and ready to go in that regard. So now, like I said, we have to find uh, these libraries. So I thought, found the easiest way was just to copy this. And then we'll jump here and we'll paste and we'll find it. Now, I already downloaded it. Now, I found this a little odd. I like to get my stuff from GitHub. It's a great source for these kinds of things. And uh, here's this guy's uh, whole section. He's got lots and lots of cool stuff. And what I couldn't find an easy way to do is just download the zip file for just this and ultimately for the MPU uh, uh, what is that? It's an MPU 6050 all right, which are the two we're ultimately going to need uh, but it turns out this guy has written both of them and if you just click here okay, that'll take you to a big pile and this big pile will in fact allow you to download the zip and you're going to end up with lots of stuff here uh, what we're going to be also interested in is what's in the arduino file but we'll just download it all it's not that big it doesn't take that much space download it and decompress it and we'll deal with it that way so i'm going to go ahead and get this out of the way i already downloaded mine i have not yet decompressed this new one 
So I'm going to bring over my downloads. Okay, so here you can see that I have it downloaded. And I'm going to <clears throat> extract it. create a folder and it's going to give us all those files that we need and we only need two we we'll ultimately need the uh, I'll show you which two we're gonna need just a moment we can delete all this when we're done okay so now we got a new folder we want to open that up and then we're interested in uh, the Ar Arduino files, all right? And the two that we're interested in, up, I didn't want to make it big. Of course, we want this I2C dev file, and we also want this MPU 6050. So what you want to do is you want to find your Arduino folder okay so I'm on a PC so when I put uh, installed Arduino in it went into the documents I have a folder called Arduino and inside of there there's a I'll show you here but I have a lot of Arduino but there's one called libraries so what you want to do is you simply want to drag this MPU 6050 and this i2c dev into this folder so here they are here's my i2c dev and here is my mpu 6050 both of those are in libraries under arduino all right if you do that you'll have all the pieces that you need to get this done so let me get this stuff out of the way all right so let's look at the code i'm already hooked up in fact, I can probably just plug this in. I'm going to post this code. Um, I'll have a link to where it's posted below the video on YouTube. But I have a couple of pieces in here that I've added. So these things here are all built into the library. That's what you get when you download the MPU 6050. All right. So I've decided to use, in this particular case, this one here which is going to get six different pieces of data it's going to get the acceleration x y and z and it's going to get the gyroscopic data x y and z okay now the things that i've added on to it is we can just print these and i'll demonstrate them real quick we can either print or plot the data and this is stuff that i've added on and so I'm going to gather all six pieces of data and let's plot just acceleration. So I'm going to move this over here a bit. Plug this guy in. And this code. I'm going to pause this while it uploads. Okay, it's done uh, Done uploading. And of course, this uh, was a plot plan. So what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and put out those pieces of information that are in, separated by a comma. In fact, we can look at it real quick. If I open up the serial window. Um, there we go. Okay, so it's streaming out with comma separation. But if I go to plot, it's going to look a lot better and easier to understand. So if we look at it with a plot, and I take my accelerometer, now we can see that as I rotate it in one axis, right, I get quite an action there on the red line, the blue line, and it's kind of cool if I flip it the z-axis so now you can see the green is completely over so it's been flipped 180 degrees now it's up again and of course we can see all the different data sets let's uh, load another one real quick and let me pause it I'm gonna go ahead <clears throat> and I think I will demonstrate plotting the gyro all right, so I'm going to uncomment this and like that. And I'll load this up. I'm going to pause it. I'll be right back. All right, so here we have it. 
and now we have the gyroscopic data and it's similar in nature although it's funny because it'll stabilize right so it's like if I'm pushing a spinning wheel I can push it slowly and not a lot changes I push it quick but then it restabilizes all right, so I can work in all those axes. So this is the gyroscopic data. So one last thing, I'll just have it print, print all the data formats, and we'll talk about the data briefly, and then I'll be done. So let me pause this, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we can see all the data streaming out, and it's a little overwhelming to figure out what the heck is what, but let's just take a look at the code and from here you can figure out what you want to use so this of course is going to gather all the different data and, and put it into these uh, variables these by the way are going to be created up here so these are going to be our uh, acceleration X Y and Z our gyroscope X Y and Z and then from that it gets gathered and all I'm doing in this particular case is printing it but for any of the projects that you're interested in, these are going to be the values that you're going to be interested in following and manipulating and moving, you know, and, and uh, collecting data from. So hopefully this was helpful in getting it working. This is a very black box kind of project. I'm not explaining how anything works. Uh, that has all been done for you so far as getting all the development. It just fills up variables. All right. So hopefully this is useful, and I will see you again soon.